Hey guys, Buffalo here. I was down here at the range today. I wanted to show you guys this neat little backpack I just picked up. It's called a Chiapa Little Badger. Pretty neat little backpack. But what turned me on to it was it comes with a free rifle. Check this out. This also goes by the name of uh, Chiapa Little Badger. Pretty neat little rifle. So I got a shell holder built onto this little wire frame stock. Holds 12 rounds of 22 long rifle. This one is chambered in 22 long rifle. You can get them in 17 HMR or 22 Magnum. Got a really nice little trigger on it. Uh, the backpack ran about 160 bucks worth every penny on its own but coming with this gun you know really a good bargain normally a little rifle like this is tough for a larger frame person like myself to shoot but this wire frame on the uh, wire stock really lets me get my cheek down low get a good shot off and like I say that trigger is pretty amazing for such a low price rifle trigger runs about three pounds on my Lyman scale but uh more than just being light it just it breaks really clean now as you break the action open there's a extractor that moves mechanically to pull your spent case out it doesn't kick it out like some of the other guns, but it will, uh, it just allows you to pull it out and toss it to the side. Got a set of peep sights on it, like a military style peep sight. I like those pretty good. They're uh, a little bit cheap made. They work fine, but uh, in the long haul, I could see those maybe breaking if you got too rough with the rifle. But they are, uh, as far as the sight picture goes, they're pretty decent. Now the rifle folds down, as you can see, to fit in the backpack. A very small package here. According to my scale, let's see. three point oh one pounds and that's with eleven rounds of uh twenty two long rifle on the stock not that that's going to be a big heavy thing there but have to include it keep pulling these little head shots off on this popper target that's uh thirty yards out <laughs> always fun to hear that steel ring now this little rifle, you can see it's got like a mini Picatinny rail, quad rail here uh, for a four end. Now you can mount whatever you want to this, lights, lasers, uh, anything you can mount to a pick rail you can mount to this. But for me, in my opinion, this is a minimalist rifle and the more you add to it, the more you end up taking away from it. So. Uh, you know, a big scope's just going to make it bulky, and for me personally, it's just not not what I would go after with this rifle. It does have a reel behind the trigger guard for a uh, proprietary pistol grip. Now, this is not a Picatinny reel; it's uh, it's too narrow, so it's a proprietary reel. They do sell a pistol grip that uh, kind of holds a cleaning kit or or something under there. but I don't think I need that. <laughs> I like watching that little popper dance. Now, uh, the muzzle is threaded. It's got a, it's threaded for AR-15 style threads, uh, half by 28. It comes with a little cheesy plastic thread protector that I've already lost. Uh, 
the first time you take it off, the threads are going to come out of it and it's going to get loose and you're going to lose it. But uh, any, any of your AR-15 muzzle jewelry will thread right on. Here's a, uh, just an A2 flash hider. Now, I realize you don't really, well, in most cases, I guess in a survival situation, you might want a flash hider on there for some reason. But any, uh, any accessory for your AR-15 is going to thread right on there. And uh, it's meant for a suppressor. That's where this gun would really shine. Guess I ought to cock it first. With a suppressor on it. I don't have a suppressor. But I do have some of these 22 uh, CCI quiet rounds. Just to give you an idea of how much fun a suppressor is if you've never shot these quiet rounds. Listen to this. Shoot that other target. <laughs> you can't beat that. Now I chose 22 long rifle because for my needs, 22 long rifle will do everything I want it to do. It's going to be a close range squirrel rifle. When I go squirrel hunting, it often often turns into a backpacking trip, a hike. So uh, me and my son will definitely take this out squirrel hunting. May do a <laughs> may do a squirrel hunting video with it. I haven't posted any hunting videos, but may try to get around to doing that. Let's see if I can make a headshot with one of these quiet rounds. <laughs> I couldn't even couldn't even hear if I hit it or not. Let's try it again. Yeah, I got him that time. But, neat little rifle, guys. Just, uh, haven't had any kind of misfires with it at all. I know, I've read, I don't go and watch everybody's video before I do a gun review, but I do search for, uh, like I'll look up, if I'm doing this gun, you know, I don't want to get out here and, and tell you all bad product is something good but i'll, I'll search uh, the forums for uh like little badger fail or little badger problems and there have been a lot of problems reported with these little rifles and to be honest a lot of uh, negative comments about the customer service at chiapa so take that into consideration normally you know you're going to have a few complaints on any gun I don't care what you search. There's going to be somebody that's had a problem with it. But when you get as many complaints as I found on this one, there is, you know, you do need to be leery. That being said, this particular rifle has just been spot on. <laughs> um, it doesn't have a manual safety as far as uh, an external manual safety. It does have a built-in automatic safety. Let's say, uh, here I'll show you, let's see. Can't resist those headshots, gotta do one more here. <laughs> All right, so I fired my shot, my hammer's down, my firing pin is pushed, protruding to strike the rim of the cartridge. When I open the gun up, Try to get that where you can see it. You can see it pushes the hammer back to the half cock position. So now my firing pin is recessed into the firing pin hole. Now, let's say for whatever reason I cock the gun and fire it, pull the trigger. Can't fire it with the barrel open, but I pull the trigger. Now the uh, firing pin's protruding again while I've got the gun open. Well, when I close the gun, you can see before it goes into position, it pushes the hammer back to half cock again. So, uh, you know, if you were to close it up on a firing pin sticking out, it would fire, but they've built in an automatic safety to keep that from happening. Somebody at Chiapa was using their head when they put this little rifle together. Uh, they market it as a survival rifle, survival series. But uh, 
like I say, for me, it's going to be a day hike gun. Throw it in the little backpack and uh, let me shoot this one. By the way, it does fit. I don't have to use the little cheesy backpack. And I was just joking about buying the backpack earlier. Hopefully y'all figured that out. But uh, it'll drop right in to my 5.11 Rush that I keep my camera, camera equipment in. So it'll fit into any ordinary backpack. And that's what me and my son are gonna use this for. Excellent to start a youngster with. Um, this is an excellent little rifle. This is a NEF uh, 22 single shot. Absolute great little rifle. Shoots, uh, shoots really good, got the micro groove barrel. I bought this for my daughter back in, uh, I believe it was 2004, I'm not certain. But anyway, it does have one flaw that I never could get over. When you shoot this rifle and the hammer falls, I can't see my sights. The hammer is blocking my sights. So you can't teach a youngster follow through if they can't see their sights the minute they pull the trigger. Now they're, you know, I could mill that down, file that hammer down, but then you lose your leverage, and without all that extra leverage, a youngster's not going to be able to cock the rifle. So, you now that one does eject them. So, uh, to me, that's a huge advantage with the little badger. When I fire the little badger, I can follow through. I can keep that sight picture. When I'm working with my son, I can teach him to keep that front sight on target. Even after he fires the shot, he can still see his sights. To me, that's a big advantage. I hadn't really heard anybody talk about that with the Chiapa Little Badger, but for me, that was a big selling point. And the lightweight, you know, three pounds, you can't beat that. So, uh, I want to give this gun a positive review, guys. I really like it. Like I say, it's got a few little quirks. Uh, that undersized rail right here, I wish they would have just went ahead and made that a Picatinny spec rail, but they didn't. But just a handy little rifle. That's all I really got to say about it, and I'll talk with you guys again soon.